Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really light, kind of glowy-ish look. Um, my fiance calls it like a classy look. I call it just a walking out of the house look, trying not to wear a ton of makeup type thing. But before I get started, I want to let you know I did not get to film the get ready with me that I wanted to. I didn't end up getting to go to that wedding reception. My son ended up being really sick. So I stayed home with him while my daughter and fiance went. They ended up having a lot of fun, but we ended up staying home. So obviously I didn't put on any makeup. I was just barefaced at home. So I figured that I would try to get another one up. This is just something that I do like usually when I'm just doing my makeup just to go somewhere, just anywhere. This is what I do. It's actually what I was wearing in my Ipsy video. It's just a really light look with some big lashes to give it a little bit of drama. So enough babbling, I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back, zoom you guys in, and go ahead and get started. So, as always, my Mika Beauty Base, the eye primer, I'm going to put that all over my lids. And then for the eyeshadows today, I'm sure it will shock everyone, but I'm going to go really light. I'm using my Revealed Smoky palette, but I'm just going to be taking on the lid these first two shades. I'm going to blend this one through the crease, and then we're going to put this one on the lid and to highlight the brow bone. And for the crease, I'm going to use this fluffy brush. It's just a small... Oh, blending brush. Again, just this cream shadow. I'm just gonna take a shader brush, pick that on the lid, blend it into that light brown. Don't want a ton of color on the lid, but, and then highlight all the way up, and then I'm gonna go back in. Okay, so we'll go back to the eyes. For um, I usually just go right into foundation, but I'm having some pretty good breakouts today, so I'm gonna try this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye that I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, it's a pretty thick one, so I want to put it underneath my foundation, but I'm thinking I might get some pretty good coverage out of this. Well, use a blender real quick. Okay, and as usual, my Maybelline fit me. 120 foundation. Can't change, I swear.
Okay, now that that is on, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Maybelline Fit Me 110 concealer. I'm gonna go in just under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I know that sometimes my face can come off a little, I don't know, just a different color, but usually after you set it, it tends to oxidize to like the right color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that under my eyes. I've been liking the, uh, is it, the beige highlight from the Lorac Pro Contour. So I'm gonna do that. Press it right underneath my eyes and anywhere else that I use that concealer. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium, and just a big fluffy Real Techniques powder brush, and just Set the rest of that foundation. It generally tends to start looking more like the real color after I set it. Okay, I'm going to move on. To finishing up my face so that I can get it back to the eyes and lips and we can be done. So it wasn't too over the top look today. Um, for my bronzer, I'm going to go to my trusty Park, Park Avenue Princess, if I can find it. There we go. And I'm just going to bronze up the face a little bit. I'm not going to do any contouring or anything like that, just lightly bronzing the face. For my blush, I'm going to use, I finally got a Z palette for my one thing. <laughs> I got my Pandora's Face Pink Carnation. Oh, wow. There we go. I've had this for a while, and I've used it a lot. I really like it. I actually feel like it's starting to get hard pan a little bit. How do you prevent that? Where there's just certain products that I just I have hard pan on them and I feel like I just cannot not do that so let me know if you know how to not do that anyway I'm just going to put a little bit on it um, this stuff can get really heavy if you're not careful so I'm gonna try to be light about it because I don't really want heavy cheeks today And then for my highlight, I'm also going to use as an inner corner highlight, this is Stole, yeah, Stole the Show by ColourPop. And I think for my cheeks, I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. I usually like the pigment better on any of their products. Their pot products when I use my finger. They're really nice. This is what I meant in the beginning when I said kind of a glowy look. It's like really light everywhere else, but I always got to have that pop somewhere. And then for the inner corner, I am going to grab a pencil brush. 
maybe. So now we're going to go back up to the eyes. I need to, I'm going to tight line a little bit and actually put a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom line. I normally don't do that all that much, but I'm going to today because I'm going to smoke it out just a little bit with another color from that um, revealed smoky palette. And then, of course, lashes, and then we'll move on to the lips. So, if I can get my head on straight, I'm going to use, for my tight lining and my uh, uh, waterline, I'm going to use this NYC City Proof 24 Hour Eyeliner in Dark Brown. For tight lining, I just like to try to pull it up as much as I can. I'm just trying to get in between my lashes when I do this and make it look fuller. color and I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and just smoke it just really close to the lash line not too much just a little bit to give it a little bit of depth lashes so I'm excited to try those out. I actually found a new way to put on lashes and the last time I did it worked really good so I'm excited to see if I try, try if it works well again so we shall see. I'm gonna use my Laura Geller Drama Lash. I've been loving this. I got this from my friend and it is an awesome gift. If you haven't tried this you should. I actually use it on the bottom and top lashes and it works out pretty good for me. I don't use all that much on the top ones just when I um, am putting lashes on but if I'm wearing just this then I use a few coats make a mess every time it never fails <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and pop those on and then I'll be back to show you guys the lip okay so that technique did not work out exactly like it did the last time but I also really don't think I like the glue that came with the lashes but the lashes themselves can we just can we just for a second 
super pretty. Do love the lashes. Gonna have to get more styles. I got the Shining Star. These are awesome. We'll definitely be wearing these again. Probably not with this glue though. But if you're interested in that technique I learned, I will try that again. I'm also wondering if maybe the band had something to do with it. I usually use the ones that are like, the hairs tied on to like, just a little strip band. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll try to show you in the video if you're interested in that. But So there is the lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and pop the lip on and then we will finally be done with this. So for the lip, it's just going to be really easy. I'm just going to line my lips with this NYX Peekaboo Nude and I'm going to top it with e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Coral. So there is that lip color and here is this look and also if you're a gloss person you could throw on some gloss over top of that. So there is that. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be filming my BoxyCharm video like right after this. So be looking out for that. I'm hoping to get these videos out like one right after the other. I'm going to be trying to get a few more out. I've been My friend Alexa has been up my butt about getting some videos and getting some looks out so I've been trying to come up with stuff. She sends me stuff all the time. So I should have some stuff coming to you guys soon. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!